Picture yourself on the edge of a boundless, shadowy sea, the surf murmuring ancient tales, stretching out into infinite darkness. You send a message sealed in a bottle into the rolling tide, filled with hope, with wonder, never certain if it will ever reach another soul, somewhere, someday. This is the journey of Voyager 1, launched in 1977, not merely as a spacecraft, but as a symbol of human curiosity and ambition, proof of our longing to touch the stars. Its purpose, to explore the distant planets, and then to continue onward, our first daring leap into interstellar space, braving the mysteries that lie beyond. Voyager 1 and its sibling, Voyager 2, took advantage of a rare planetary alignment, embarking on a grand tour of Jupiter and Saturn, sending back images and discoveries that forever changed our view of the solar system. NASA engineered them for endurance, outfitting Voyager 1 with tools to detect magnetic fields, cosmic rays, and plasma waves, devices designed to peel back the layers of the universe's secrets. And aboard, a golden record. A greeting to any who might encounter it, a time capsule of Earth's voices and melodies, a gesture of goodwill and hope. Fueled by a nuclear power source, Voyager could transmit signals from unimaginable distances, outlasting its makers, a shining example of human creativity. On September 5, 1977, Voyager 1 soared into the sky, carrying our aspirations and stories farther than anything before. A voyage into the unknown. We listened closely, eager for the universe to reveal its mysteries never imagining that the most profound revelations would come from the emptiness beyond our solar system, in the silence of deep space. Voyager 1 became our quiet envoy to the stars, a solitary explorer bearing the story of humanity into the cosmic sea, endlessly journeying among the galaxies. Voyager 1's first stops on its epic journey were the giants of our solar system, Jupiter and Saturn, two worlds of immense size and mystery that have fascinated astronomers for centuries. At Jupiter, Voyager 1 revealed the true nature of the Great Red Spot, capturing it as a massive, centuries-old storm larger than Earth itself, swirling with unimaginable power. The spacecraft also discovered faint, delicate rings encircling the planet, features previously unknown. Most astonishing of all, it found active volcanoes erupting on Io, one of Jupiter's moons, providing the first direct evidence that distant worlds could be geologically alive and dynamic. Using Jupiter's immense gravity as a slingshot, Voyager 1 accelerated toward Saturn, sending back breathtaking images of its iconic rings, vast icy bands that encircle the planet in intricate patterns. The spacecraft focused on Titan, Saturn's largest moon, shrouded in a thick orange haze. Titan's mysterious atmosphere hinted at the possibility of complex chemistry, sparking curiosity about what might lie beneath its clouds. The close flyby of Titan, however, set Voyager 1 on a new course. It meant the spacecraft would not visit Uranus or Neptune. Instead, it was flung out of the plane of the solar system, its grand planetary tour now complete, leaving the familiar worlds behind. Now, Voyager 1's mission changed. It was to head for the stars, venturing into the unknown, measuring the solar wind and searching for the boundary where our sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. For years, Voyager 1 traveled through the Helios Heath, the turbulent outer layer of the solar bubble, billions of miles from home. Even at such vast distances, it continued to send back precious data, helping scientists understand the edge of our solar system. Voyager 1 became a lonely sentinel, a silent explorer pushing ever outward into the cosmic frontier, venturing farther than any human-made object before it. It prepared to cross the final boundary of our solar system, the heliopause where the solar wind meets the interstellar medium, marking the true edge of our sun's domain. Beyond this point, its journey was no longer about exploring planets, but about venturing into the vast, uncharted space between the stars, a realm few had even imagined visiting. Each faint signal received on Earth was a report from a place no human had ever reached, a message from the edge of the unknown, expanding our understanding of the cosmos. 
Voyager 1 was now truly on a one-way trip into the unknown, a silent ambassador carrying humanity's message into the endless night, forever journeying among the stars. Voyager 1 embarked on a remarkable journey through the heliosphere, a vast magnetic bubble created by our sun. This bubble acts as a protective shield, safeguarding us from the harsh and relentless interstellar radiation that permeates the galaxy. Scientists eagerly anticipated the moment when Voyager would cross the heliopause, the very edge of this protective bubble. It was here that solar particles were expected to drop dramatically, while cosmic rays would surge, marking a new frontier. In 2012, the data revealed a significant change. Solar particles plummeted, and cosmic rays soared, indicating a potential crossing. It seemed Voyager 1 had ventured into interstellar space, a realm beyond our solar system's influence. However, the magnetometer, which measures the direction of magnetic fields, did not show the expected shift that would confirm this transition. The Sun's magnetic field should have given way to the galaxies, but surprisingly, the readings remained unchanged, leaving scientists puzzled. Was Voyager truly in interstellar space, or had it entered a strange, transitional region that defied our understanding? The data was contradictory, a scientific puzzle from 11 billion miles away, challenging our perceptions. The universe was proving to be more complex and enigmatic than anyone had ever predicted, revealing its mysteries slowly. Voyager 1 was sending back a riddle, a cosmic enigma that challenged our understanding of the solar system's edge and beyond. The anticipation and confusion at NASA grew, as scientists worked tirelessly to decode the signals. Had we truly touched the space between the stars, or was there more to discover in this vast, uncharted territory? The answer was hidden in the data, waiting patiently to be revealed, promising new insights into the cosmos. As scientists debated, Voyager 1's plasma wave system detected something new. A faint, persistent hum. This was the sound of interstellar plasma, made audible by a solar storm that struck the spacecraft's surroundings. The pitch of the hum revealed a much denser plasma than inside the heliosphere, 40 times greater. This was the smoking gun Voyager 1 was in interstellar space. The discovery was possible only because of a lucky solar flare, making the interstellar medium sing. For the first time, we directly measured the stuff between the stars. The hum confirmed Voyager 1 had left home, beginning a new, grander mission. It was a whisper from the cosmos, proof we had arrived in a place no human-made object had ever been. The sound was a lonely, beautiful note in the vast concert hall of the galaxy. Voyager 1 was now a true interstellar traveler. The plasma hum confirmed Voyager 1's location, but the magnetic field mystery deepened. If it was in interstellar space, why hadn't the magnetic field changed direction? Was the magnetometer broken after decades in space, or were our models of the heliopause wrong? Maybe the boundary wasn't a clean line, but a turbulent frontier where solar and interstellar fields mixed. The uncertainty sparked intense debate at NASA. Some believed Voyager had crossed, others urged caution. Announcing humanity's arrival in interstellar space was historic. They had to be sure. The pressure was immense, the stakes high. The universe wasn't giving up its secrets easily. Voyager 1's data forced scientists to rethink everything they knew about the solar system's edge. The riddle persisted, demanding a new kind of science. To solve the mystery, NASA's team got creative. With Voyager 1 over 18 light hours away, they could only analyze the data and wait. They reviewed every instrument, searching for clues or signs of failure. The plasma wave system's hum, triggered by a solar flare, was key. If another solar event produced the same result, it would confirm the findings. Theorists developed new models. What if the boundary was a tangled magnetic swamp? In April 2013, another solar flare sent a shockwave. Months later, Voyager's plasma wave system sang again, louder, higher pitched. The evidence was overwhelming. Voyager 1 was deep in interstellar space. On August 25, 2012, it had left the solar system behind. The mystery was solved. Voyager 1 was our first interstellar explorer. With Voyager 1's location confirmed, attention turned to the magnetic field. The boundary wasn't simple. 
It was a compressed, transitional zone where fields aligned before diverging. Voyager 1 traveled through this region before entering undisturbed interstellar space. Data from both Voyagers now maps the true shape of the heliosphere, squashed and comet-like, not a perfect bubble. Voyager's magnetometer and the faint, persistent hum reveal a dynamic, vibrating interstellar medium. Even without solar shocks, Voyager detects the galaxy's low-level murmur, plasma waves from distant events. It's a cosmic weather station, reporting from the interstellar void. The universe is more complex and beautiful than we imagined. Voyager 1 taught us the space between stars is alive with waves, fields, and a faint cosmic hum. Today, Voyager 1 is over 15 billion miles from Earth, its power fading as instruments shut down. By 2036, its voice will fall silent, but its journey will continue. Voyager 1 rewrote our understanding of the outer planets and became humanity's first interstellar emissary. It proved we could build machines to reach the stars and survive to tell the tale. Even after its instruments go dark, its trajectory will help test the laws of physics across vast distances. For billions of years, it will drift through the Milky Way, carrying the golden record, a message in a bottle from Earth. Voyager 1 embodies curiosity, ingenuity, and perseverance. It reminds us we are part of a larger cosmos, with mysteries still to uncover. The little spacecraft became our most distant explorer, a silent wanderer, a symbol of our desire to reach out and understand. Its journey is our journey, and it has only just begun.